During the late 70s and early 80s, this lovely lady was a weekly visitor in my home. Yep, Saturday nights were all about the Aaron Spelling created television shows The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. I loved everything about these shows. The multiple storylines, the amazing guest stars, and on The Love Boat, Lauren Tweez was super cute as cruise director Julie McCoy. Sadly, a few years later, she would be out of a job and replaced by another actress. Why did that happen? Well, more on that in just a moment, but first let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. I think The Love Boat was so successful because of its great cast. In addition to Lauren, there was the recently departed and always great Gavin McLeod, as well as future politician Fred Grandy, who was really wonderful as lovable old golfer. Heck, all of the cast members were really talented, and you could tell that there was a lot of chemistry between them. The Love Boat ran for nine seasons on ABC, and after that there were some additional special episodes and even a sequel of sorts called Love Boat The Next Wave. And through the first few seasons, Lauren as cruise director Julie was there to keep things sane and the storylines moving along. Here she is with guest star Lydia Cornell. You remember her, right? Anyway, as you can see, Lauren was a very critical part of the show. And in my mind, kind of the breakout star. During the second season of The Love Boat, Lauren also took time out to film a movie. A very popular TV movie of the era, in fact, called The Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. As you might guess as a young teenage boy, I was a very supportive fan. Another Love Boat highlight for me was when Aaron Spelling admitted that The Love Boat and Charlie's Angels existed in a shared universe. Love Boat Angels was a great episode of Charlie's Angels that had Lauren looking every bit as lovely as the angels who Mr. Townsend had sent to the Pacific Princess to crack another case. So what in the world would cause Lauren to be fired when she really seemed to be on top of the world? Sadly, it is a story as old as time. As the love boat grew in popularity, Lauren had a difficult time off camera dealing with all of the pressure that came along with stardom. And because of that, she turned to drugs, cocaine specifically, to help her cope. At times, scenes on the show would have to be refilmed with another cast member, or at the very least delayed, because Lauren just wasn't around. She wasn't dependable. And because of that, Lauren was fired from the show at the end of season 7. Yep, as sad as it is to say, the Love Boat production team, well, they just had enough. A new cruise director would have to be found. For the eighth season of the show, Patricia Klaus was cast as Julie's sister, Judy. Ironically, by the time the casting decision was made, Lauren had been working diligently to resolve her dependency on drugs and was pretty much cleaned up. But those were different times, and Lauren was gone. I remember around that time a cover story in TV Guide which talked about all of the things that Lauren had been dealing with. Hello, I'm Lauren Tweed. For the past seven years, a lot has been written about me. But in the new issue of TV Guide, I speak for myself about what I experienced working on a television series, about the pressures and the insecurities. Sometimes it hurt to tell the truth about the past, but it sure helped me to be free of it. Lauren Tweez, as you've never known her before, exclusively in TV Guide. Thankfully, Lauren did discover life after the love boat. Over the course of the next few years, she would guest star in other shows like T.J. Hooker, Hotel, Hunter, and Murder, She Wrote. And during the final season of The Love Boat, Lauren even made a guest appearance as Julie. And a few years later, Lauren had another shot at a TV series when she filmed a pilot with Vicki Lawrence called Anything But Love. You can find portions of this show on YouTube, and you know what? It's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, the pilot is all that we have because all of the networks appear to have passed on it at the time. Even more recently, Lauren has made a number of guest appearances on shows talking about both the good and bad times associated with working on The Love Boat. She has been very frank about the issues that she was grappling with at the time, and she also talks about how the entertainment industry has changed for the better. These days, actors and actresses are helped through their times of need, 
instead of being given a pink slip by the producers. A few years back, Lauren was invited to celebrate her 60th birthday on the Pacific Princess. I think it's great that she still feels connected to the cruise line and is able to accept invitations like this one. It would be easy to look back on the experience with regret, but by all accounts, that's just not the way that Lauren feels about things. Instead, she takes things day by day and enjoys each one to its fullest. And that, my friends, is what we should all be doing. Okay, if you were reading those little text bubbles that randomly appeared throughout the video, you know I promised a vintage commercial with Jill Whelan in it. See if you can pick her out. Hey, everybody, it's the M&M's Candies Gang. Who takes peanuts and chocolate? Who takes peanuts and chocolate? And mixes them just right. And mixes them just right. Gives them rainbow colors so they're always nice and bright. The M&M's Gang. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. All right, now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments section if you think Lauren was treated fairly. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck, why not subscribe to my little channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.